let's talk a little bit about the GPU and uh, the history and why it's so relevant today. So about 20 years ago, NVIDIA produced the first GPU chip, and it was really designed initially for the 3D visualization market um, and, and, and gaming. And the, the key thing, though, is that the construct for that processor, basically it was, it was designed to do really large tasks in parallel, and that, in comparison with the CPU, uh, which is designed to really do stuff uh, to manage commands sequentially. And then also if you look at the GPU architecture, really it's, it, it is different in the way that, um, that you build these chips, right? The, the chips itself have thousands of cores um, of processing. Uh, for example, the latest Pascal chip that we're shipping has over 3,000 cores on a, on a single chip. And that's compared to a CPU, which is which have you know roughly eight to 32 uh, cores per CPU. Now also, what's unique about a GPU is that it can handle thousands of threads simultaneously, and um, that's that's an order of magnitude larger than than what a CPU can do. Also, they're way more cost efficient and power efficient. In fact, we just were awarded as um, or we were just named a leader in the green 500 supercomputing list, which is um, as the most efficient, most energy efficient supercompute solution. And so if you look at all that together, we basically means that um, a GPU based system can accelerate processing by over 100x uh, on, on many different types of workloads. And that includes you know, workloads like analytics and visualization. And so what's really interesting is when you compare GPU and CPU performance over time. So Mark, if you can go to the next slide. And so if you go back in history a few years, basically in 2007, NVIDIA opened up the GPU chip to general compute functions, right? So for the enterprise to run basic workloads, whether they're visualization or analytics or AI. Um, and so that changed the equation um, for, the, uh, for the data center. Basically, what companies historically thought when they were compute bound was that they would just add more x86 servers. However, if you look at the two lines on this chart, you'll see that the CPU basically has tapped out from a performance perspective. The Moore's, the, the, the old Moore's law, which was stated that um, performance doubled every 18 months, as you can see, just doesn't hold anymore. And so today, the P100 chip basically is about five, has about five times the amount of processing power as the leading CPU. And so when you look at GPU plus CPU, you basically have a new blueprint for the data center. It's that you take existing CPU-based systems um, that are driving legacy applications, and then you add GPUs for, uh, for the high-performance workloads. And so it's really a best of both worlds where you can use you know, both GPU and CPU together to divide up to, uh, you know, to divvy up the workloads. 